every time we talk about social protection comes to mind the indispensable partnership between uh, the private sector, employers and the employees. In this regard, uh, a very inclusive, open dialogue must take place, consultation must take place. There is a third party, obviously the state and the government, that uh, develop the legal framework, the institutions that both uh, safeguard the interests of uh, the private sector, the employers, and the employees. In regard to the developments in Timor-Leste, our experience uh, uh, supported by the ILO and other partners uh, with much greater experience elsewhere in the world, uh, we have uh, tried to develop uh, a vision and national plan to be implemented from 2021 to 2030, hoping that by then we have achieved the optimum in social protection for all in Timor-Leste, safeguarding, as always, the interests of all parties, in particular the employees and the employers. The dialogue uh, is a continuing one. Uh, we have uh, begun this way back many years ago and uh, continuing. And uh, I personally can see uh, that in the course of these years, uh, we have uh, made uh, tremendous uh, progress in that uh, we take in uh, serious consideration when I say we, the state, the government, as well as the private sector, the very legitimate interests of uh, those who, without whom we cannot deliver, cannot deliver a, a sustainable economy that is rest on the participation, on the acceptance of, of on the embracing of those who perform the task. And these are the workers, uh, the employees. So this partnership uh, is the most, uh, is the healthiest for uh, whether uh, emerging economies or uh, industrialized uh, economies.